Troubled Waters, the story of Kaja's Boutique, brought to you by Team Jam Tech. At Kaja's Boutique, we will be discussing managerial situations and how to resolve conflict in the work environment. We understand there are many ways to be an effective leader. In Kaja's Boutique, we developed characters that are just starting to find their balance within their respective managerial styles. Kaja is a single mother of two. She takes on the challenge of opening her own clothing boutique, but it proves harder than originally thought, even though she has an MBA. But don't fear for our little store. Once it is stocked with merchandise and a marketing plan is in place, the grand opening becomes a success and the boutique manages to make a profit. At Kaja's Boutique, we will be discussing managerial situations and how to resolve conflict in the work environment. We understand there are many ways to be an effective leader. In Kaja's Boutique, we developed characters that are just starting to find their balance within their respective managerial styles. This show focuses on the troubled waters in starting a new entrepreneurial venture. Kaija's experience in opening and running this boutique highlights some of the key principles of business and management systems. Topics covered in this show include organizational structure, managing human resources, leadership and motivation, basic management principles, corporate social responsibility, ethical practices in the workplace, strategic management and planning, and developing a competitive advantage. Our target market is anyone between the ages of 18 and 24. This is the most transitional point into adulthood, and learning these business concepts is crucial before developing a career. This age group is the most vulnerable to stressful situations in the retail industry, and we believe the stories told in Troubled Waters will guide them on their journeys to becoming effective leaders. Our goal is to give viewers a realistic understanding of what it is like to start a new venture in the current marketplace. Character Development Here we see Kaija, the star of our new TV show and owner of the fledgling boutique. It's always been her dream to own her own boutique, and with her natural ability for organizational planning, empathy, and formidable MBA knowledge, she will surely be a success. That is, if she can manage her diverse group of employees. Here we see Kaija's diverse team hard at work discussing how to execute Kaija's vision for the store. From left to right, we have Marcelo, the team leader. He is second in charge to Kaija and responsible for staff making sure Kaija's plans are executed by the staff. He is well liked by all, but sometimes the staff's willingness to come to him for every small issue makes it hard for him to do his own work. Next is Gabrielle. She's the assistant sales team leader. Although she is very personable, it is sometimes to her detriment that she puts the needs of other employees before the needs of the store. Then there is Mariana, in charge of merchandise. She is quiet and timid, but that is fine with her since inventory keeps her preoccupied. There are times she is given temporary leadership but that is her weakness because she is not good at giving orders to others. Finally, we have Jay, the sales team leader. He is incredibly capable at all sales related functions, but he is also a micromanager and sometimes too focused on details which impede his ability to lead others. Will Kaija's team hamper or propel the store to greatness? Find out in the exciting episodes coming up next. Episode 1, Grand Opening. Kaija opens the doors as customers flood in. Her friends, family, all come out to support the event. The unique style of apparel Kaija offers at her boutique is widely accepted by the market, and her store becomes the talk of the town. Everyone is starting to buy these unique bracelets that are only found at her store, and they quickly sell out. With business starting to go very well, Kaija learns quickly how important business and management principles are to running a new business. She's constantly dealing with managing a changing work environment, as well as how to think strategically and as a new entrepreneur. 
She also develops her skills of planning, organizing, and delegating while learning the roles of management. Episode 2. In this episode, Kaja learns about corporate social responsibility. She calls a meeting with her assistant manager, Marcelo, to figure out what the best way is for them to incorporate CSR into their business. They decide to do some research on the manufacturer that is supplying their merchandise. And when Kaja takes a tour of the manufacturer, she's very disappointed with the manufacturer's waste of energy, resources, and the horrible working environment. After the tour, she calls Marcelo for a meeting. Kaja and Marcelo decide to cut ties with the manufacturer, and they decide to make a deal with a new manufacturer that fits Kaja's green standards. Kaja decides to go public with the split, and many appraisals come through when they hear the company is taking ethical steps in the right direction to be more conscious of the environment. Episode 3. A new boutique opens down the street and impacts the store's profits. Kaja is determined not to let anything get in her way and calls a meeting to implement a new strategy. This strategy stresses superior value products and improved customer service. She breaks down the process for the store's strategic vision, organizational mission, and analyzes the external environment as well as the internal resources. But will this be enough to save the store? Find out soon! In Episode 4, Jay starts to overstep his boundaries. Without someone to check him, his mean side starts to come out, directly affecting other employees during Kaija's absence from the store. When this news comes back to Kaija, she has a meeting with Jay and reprimands him for overstepping his boundaries and for being rude to other employees. Kaija realizes she needs to alter her organization and manage the store's human resources. She sets a flat organizational structure with an HR plan for each department based on each individual's assets. In Episode 5, Gabrielle notices low morale as the work output slows down. Associates are getting too lax as Gabrielle asks Kaija if she can host a workshop on leadership and motivation to fire up the team. She highlights the subjects of leading, managing, power, and leadership skills while having the group engage in physical games to raise their heart rate. Even Jay becomes more amicable and does his own small presentation on increasing sales. Kaja is impressed by the workshop and sees a huge improvement in motivation at the store. Episode 6 This episode highlights the troubles with miscommunication. We are taken into the warehouse where a shipment has gone wrong. This will test the patience of all the employees, especially the managers. The end goal of this episode is to create a productive work environment by encouraging the use of effective communication skills. Episode 1, The Nature of Management It is the grand opening. Kaija opens the door as customers flood in. Her friends and family all come out to support the event. The unique style of apparel Kaija offers at her boutique is widely accepted by the market and her store becomes the talk of the town. Everyone is starting to buy these unique bracelets that are only found at her store and they quickly sell out. With business starting off very well, Kaija learns quickly how important business and management principles are to running a new business. She is constantly dealing with managing a changing work environment as well as how to think strategically and entrepreneurially. She also develops her skills of planning, organizing, and de delegating while learning the roles of management. Episode 2, Corporate Social Responsibility. In this episode, Kaja learns about corporate social responsibility. She calls a meeting with her assistant manager, Marcelo, to figure out what the best way for them to incorporate CSR into their business would be. They decide to do some more research on the manufacturer that is supplying their ma merchandise. When Kaja takes a tour of the manufacturer, she is overtly disappointed with the manufacturer's waste of energy, waste of resources, and horrible working environment. After the tour, she calls Marcelo in for a meeting. Kaija and Marcelo decide to cut ties with this manufacturer and they make a product deal with a manufacturer that fits Kaija's green standards. 
Kaiju decides to go public with the split, and many appraisals come through, hearing the company is taking ethical steps in the right direction to become conscious of the environment. Episode 3, Strategic Management and Planning. A competing boutique opens down the street from Kaja, and she sees a small decline in sales due to the new boutique's grand opening. Kaja wants to figure out how she can differentiate herself from the new boutique, and she decides to call a meeting with the team leaders and assistant manager. In the meeting, she stresses the importance of superior value products, exemplary customer service, and unique but appealing designs. She breaks down the strategic management process, determining the strategic vision, organizational mission. She analyzes the external environment and internal resources. She establishes objectives, formulates a strategy, and explains how she wants to implement that strategy. By doing so, she creates a solid foundation for productivity in the business, while also gaining customer appeal with new unique products. Shortly after the meeting, she sees her strategy working well, and sales begin to spike due to the new strategic management process. Episode 4, Organizational Structure and Managing Human Resources. Jay starts overstepping his boundaries when Marcelo and Kaja aren't around. He starts being rude and condescending to Gabrielle and Mariana. Jay yells at Mariana for misplacing multiple items when it could have easily been a customer. When word gets back to Kaja about this incident, she has a meeting with Jay to reprimand him for overstepping his boundaries. Kaja realizes that she needs to establish an organizational structure and effectively manage human resources to prevent this confusion in the future. She implements a flat organizational structure with a human resource management plan that maximizes performance in each department based on each individual's asset. Episode 5, Leadership and Motivation. Gabrielle notices the morale in the workplace slows down. Associates are getting relaxed on their work practices and Gabrielle asks Kaija if she can do a workshop on leadership and motivation for the team to spark a fire and get them excited about working effectively. She highlights the difference between leading and managing, how to effectively identify and use power in the leadership process. She then has everyone do an exercise to elevate their heart rate. She starts talking about the different forms of intrinsic and extrinsic motivation, as well as different types of reinforcement and consequences. She has Jay come on stage and share how well sales have been. They finish the meeting by showing they are on track to double their revenue goal for the first year in business. Kaja is very impressed by the workshop and sees a huge improvement in motivation at work. Episode 6, Communication, Negotiation, and Individual versus Group Decision Making. This episode highlights the troubles with miscommunication. Kaja begins to notice that her employees are not making themselves available to help customers on the sales floor. When she confronts Marcelo about the situation, he shifts the blame to his other coworkers for their lack of proper service. Kaja puts together a meeting to address the lack of communication and make a plan for future group decision making. The team plans to create a productive work environment by encouraging the use of effective communication skills. 